Hello and welcome to Expo Hub. Myself Rakesh. I work in one of the top IT company. I do have experience of 12 years. So today uh, I'll be teaching you guys on how do you schedule bots. Just in the previous video, we have a very elaborative video on how do you upload bots and run jobs there, right? Very easy uh, steps has been mentioned in the previous video. I would recommend if you have not watched that video, please do watch and then come to this particular video because this is the next video or next phase of the video. All right, I'll be giving a link of that previous video in this below the description. Please have a check. All right, so this topic is about scheduling bots. All right, so please do watch till the end of the video so that we can explain you in detail. Now, in, in Expo Hub, right, we will be teaching you about the latest uh, orchestrator, which is uh, 20.2.21 release. Um, this is the latest one in the previous uh, orchestrator uh, where we had schedule option. So that has been replaced with the name called triggers. Okay, many people get confused and they may not find schedule option. So they should look for triggers if you are using a community edition. All right, so we'll get started. So the first thing is I am going to log in to platform. Dot uipath.com okay platform.uipath.com hit enter select your account okay so I am in the uh, dashboard and here I can see I have created a department I created a service so all this has been explained very well in the previous video please have a check so I'm going entering inside the services. So now here in the left side panel below automation, I have the option triggers. I'll click on this one. So already I have created a process and the bot is, you know, the process is already ready. You see it here processes. So I have already uploaded a process here. So what I am going to do is today in this specific video, we will learn how to use the triggers. Okay, so do not uh, because you, if you are not understanding what is a process and things like that again I am referring please go back and watch the previous video. So in the trigger section what I am going to do is I am going to create a new trigger. So there is there was already a trigger I am going to delete this and I am going to click on the plus sign to create a new trigger. So here I am going to say I every minute so i'm going to create multiple triggers okay so i'll just say um, you know test trigger or schedule right you can call it a schedule or trigger so i'm giving a name now here we will see it is asking us to select the process so i had already created the process so this is where i have to select okay creating a process again this part of the previous video uh, and it is saying inherited inherited means while you have created the process you have selected a job priority okay i will show you that when you go back to processes okay whatever job priority that you had uh, selected in the process if you say the job priority is high the same thing will get inherited into the triggers okay that is the meaning so here if i come back again let me start it test trigger with the name and then here I am selecting the process and it is getting inherited. Let's say the in inherited value is low and you want to make it high you still have the option to switch whichever you want for the moment okay and then you have got execution target all robots you want to do it or specific robots or allocate dynamically. So allocate dynamically is nothing but let's say you have got 10 robots and out of 10 let's say 3 are available for the moment and another uh, 7 are busy right so anything which is available um, right first first in first out so according to that the, this job will get assigned and it will run 
okay so if you want to go dynamically for our example it's not required i'll go with specific robots and i'm going to select that robot so here we have only configured one robot for the for the training purpose now once uh, it is done on the right hand side um, is something you see utc coordinated universal time okay now coordinated universal time um, if if you would like to run with this one that's fine you know we can set a set out a time here now for the for the first option when i say minutes and i'm saying every one minute so if i do it i don't necessarily have to change the uh, coordinated universal time because it is going to run every minute so let's just use that and then i will uh, give you an example how do you use the utc time and how do you even use the current time zone so we are in india so how do you use that okay so for the moment when you are using minute and selecting every one minute you don't have to literally worry about that so let's save this so click on add and uh, we can see it is going to run in a minute so i'm, I'm just we'll just wait for the bot to run automatically as per the schedule okay you can see the status is changing okay so the timing and the moment it gets into the next minute the bot will automatically start in a few seconds so let's wait all right so you can see that the bot has immediately started automatically so it's going to happen every minute okay so i don't want that to happen let's say i want to schedule it daily so how do you do that so for that i'll go back again edit the schedule and here instead of minute every minute right this is not something fair enough if it is a requirement like that you can go for it otherwise if i have to go let's say hourly hourly is again every one hour every two hours whatever you like to mention you can put that way every two hour 30 minutes every two hour 15 minutes or one hour 15 minutes whatever you like you can edit you know it is going to run in that way again for this also the time zone is not necessarily required now when i go to daily right so daily every day at certain time so let's say the time while i'm recording this is 4 5 pm right so if i have to run it at four uh let's say it's running because the last schedule is already there so every minute is running i'll just close that so we'll quickly change it so daily i want to uh, run at let's say now it's four six okay the current time is <coughs> so the current time is four zero six pm okay so how do you convert all you do is go to google and here you need to type uh, convert uh, current time convert current time to UTC okay so when you do this it is saying the current time is 4 6 p.m. the UTC time is 10 36 a.m. so what I will do I'll just write 10 and 30 six minutes okay so when i do 10 36 minutes okay, let me stop this so 10 uh, so it's already 36 i will say 37 and i am going to save this so if i save it you can see what has happened 10 37 am this is the utc time okay in a day uh, in a in a day let's say in a day right so according to that you can keep on updating so what I will do here, I'll go to edit. Okay, um, ten thirty-seven. The process will schedule UTC coordinated time. Now, as I said, we need to learn about the time zone. So ours is India IST time zone. For the IST time zone, what I will do? Plus five thirty. Okay, Chennai, Kolkata, Mumbai, New Delhi. This is the timing. So now let's say I have to run it at four. So four is sixteen, right? So 16, um, 08 or 8. 
so 4 8 it is going to run so what i will do i'm going to update this now when you, when i update this you can see right 4 8 pm has uh, automatically come here so according to that you can change your schedules so one more uh, critical thing that we need to learn here is about the um, advance okay weekly uh, monthly is again you know similar way you can just go through it and you can select as needed but all i want to teach you in this video is about the chrome expression okay what is the chrome expression it is again chrome expression is nothing but uh, you know uh, in the unix environment um, how do you specify the time so for that let me teach you so the, in the in the unix environment the timings would be something like this so the first one is seconds the first parameter next parameter is in minutes right and the third parameter is in hours and then you have uh, the day of the month okay day of the month that is 1 2 3 until 31 right day of the month and then next one you have is month and the next one you have is day of the week like Monday Tuesday day of the week and then you have the year okay so there are in total there are one two three four five six seven parameters in the seven parameters the year is something you can leave blank you don't have to necessarily use it so let me show you a format so let's say second i want to run it every second that is the case all i put star i'll use a star space for minute i'll use a star for hour i'm going to use a star okay and the question mark can only be used for the day of the month and then for month i am going to use a star okay use a star and then day of the week i am going to use the star and here i can leave it blank so total i am using one two three four five six characters okay so if i copy this and go to advance in the comment expression if i am going to type this so it will run every second okay now this is quite dangerous i am not going to save it because it's going to run every second what i will do instead of second i am going to make it a minute so what i will do the second value instead of star i'll put zero okay and the minute is star so it will run every minute every time the minute changes it is going to run it okay so let's update that and see okay now it's going to run every minute in few seconds so you can see that we'll just wait for this to work okay so in the meantime guys please do like and do comment uh, in the video if it is helping you please please do like and subscribe to our channel so this is the time to promote <laughs> okay so now a few seconds left so let's wait Okay. So the moment uh, the time is going to change, the bot will run. So let's wait. It's 4 11 pm now. I'm waiting for the 4 1 2 pm. Okay. All right. So you can see that how it has got the bot up and running okay so this is the com format which is very much required for you to understand now let me edit this and here let me show you a couple of other formats let's say uh, so the first one i said second second one is minute so i want to uh, run it run it save it so let's say i want to run it to uh, 4 uh, now it's 4 12 let's say i want to run it 4 15 right so minute i will say 15 and 4 will be 16 right 12 in the 24 hour format and leave it so if i update it here okay so it is going to run in next three minutes so you understood how do you uh, use those uh, areas and how do you change the time as per your need okay and in case uh, i want to stop the job or i want to disable the trigger okay so all these options are available here to stop the job after saying after after a day or after one hour after one minute or you want to kill it right stop or kill so i can select here after i will say after a minute it should kill it so all these options can be utilized and you can just save it so after a minute it is going to 
kill this okay doesn't matter whether it's going to run or doesn't run just after a minute from here it is going to stop it uh, now disable trigger okay at at what date and time let's say tomorrow onwards i want to disable this or only for you know i want to disable it so i can schedule a timing at what date and time i want to disable this trigger okay so all this can be done or else in case you do not want to use that trigger at all um, the job is done all you need to select this trigger and you have the option to remove it okay so this is all about trigger guys it's quite simple and easy to understand and the uh, complex topic has been covered in this video please do watch um, please do subscribe to expo hub we are coming up with multiple new and exciting videos uh, which are up to the mark with the current version of ui path and will give you all new and latest updates right in a meaningful way which you can understand and, and grasp so please do uh, subscribe to our channel and you guys have a wonderful day thank you